views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. You are listening to Living Later Radio. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Living Lighter provides a revolutionary way to address what's truly holding you back. We have the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time, be living lighter. Join us now for a Living Lighter experience. This is Living Lighter Radio, and I'm Patricia. I'm here with my husband, Jason, and today we're going to talk about change. I'm not talking about the kind you put in your pocket. Well, that would be nice too, but I'm talking about things that change in our lives and how we deal with them. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Jason, we, are, we all have our unique things we don't like when change happens. It can be little things or really big things. Uh, I don't know, like losing your house in a natural, natural, in a natural disaster um, or the death of someone close to you. So is there an answer to cope with these changes? Yes. Here's the key. The place that you maintain your balance when change happens, which is inevitable. We all know that change is inevitable. Again, whether it's the big things and you you lose your house in a natural disaster or you get flooded out or um, there's something that's life-threatening, you lose someone who's really close to you. Those are all devastating changes. But even the little things that, you know, um, um, someone put the, your keys someplace else and, and you were late for work. Um, those things are the ones that drive us nuts. And um, all change is difficult. But here's the key. It's your essence that's the foundation. And if you have that connection to essence, all this change can go out on, can happen around you, outside of you. Well, well wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you know if you're acting from your essence? How do you know if it's your essence that's... How do you know that, Jason? There's no formula. And there's some signs that you know that you are connected, like a deep-seated confidence about who you are, where you're going, and what you, what, what you want. But we see a lot of people fake that. <laughs> they, they act like they know where they're going and they know what they want um, until they change their mind, which just says that they didn't know what, where they're going and what they want. The reason we're doing this work... Which, the, by the way, is okay to you. I want to I say that. The reason we're doing this work and the reason we came up with the ecosystem approach because we could see as intuitives, and I'm not sure there's any other way of knowing this, that the whole world's, world's connect, disconnected from their essence. OMG, it is a big <laughs> deal. And we started the ecosystem approach to help people get back to the way they were designed, the way they're supposed to be, the way they're um, um, created by the creator. Okay. So, so... Am I hearing you say that that um, you know since the whole world is disconnected, um, which by the way, if you just take a look out there, you will see it um, in some form or another. If if you're disconnected from your essence and who you are, then um, you're just being part of the problem and not part of the solution. Yeah, and and that's a cliche. I okay. get you know I get that. Here's here's how I know personally for me, it's because when I look in the review mirror, I see, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so much different now. I'm so much more connected to my essence than I was before, but I didn't know when I wasn't connected, but I knew in retrospect, in hindsight, looking in the review mirror, because I've seen where I've come 
And that's the beauty of the ecosystem approach. Well, okay. because, because for the listeners out there, I think, you know, if you're listening right now, I guarantee you, you're disconnected. And our language makes this very black and white. Either are you connected or you're disconnected? Well, you're never totally connected and you're never totally disconnected. You know, it's, it's that amount in the middle. And it's not easy or even, um, even as an intuitive, I'm not sure I could quantify it. It's, it's very uh, uh, multidimensional and um, it's not a linear thing at all. But with that said, it doesn't really matter. Well, we, we want to make it practical. We want to make it practical. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you're disconnected. What's really important is that by doing the ecosystem approach, by using energy in your life, by using removing the negative energy in your life as opposed to trying to use strategies and techniques, mm. you're going to have a better life. Now, mm. we created the ecosystem approach. Here's the biggie. This is what you were getting to, Patricia. Okay. Is that we made the ecosystem approach so it's practical that, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, we see this all the time in, in the movies, you know, so some people will be doing some sort of new agey thing and they, they make them look ridiculous, you know, oh my gosh, there's all this trauma going around and someone has to go, oh, I have to go center myself. Well, <laughs> you know, um, um, there's nothing wrong with centering yourself, but what in the happened? middle of the trauma, I'm sorry, you know, there are the when the house you is on fire, <laughs> you don't sit in the in the front yard and 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 go in the lotus position. We no. created the ecosystem approach so that it's practical. Right. That it's for everyday people. It's for people that pay the rent and have a mortgage. Maybe you work in a cubicle. Maybe you um, you're struggling in somehow. Well, let's just take it take take it back to if the house is on fire. The practical part of the ecosystem approach is while you're on your way collecting the kids and the dogs and 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 everything going out the door. You're clearing fear and terror. Yes, and if you can't do it when you get them out the door, then you then clear, you clear fear, fear and, and terror. terror. Exactly. But, but you can still you're still available to do the things you need to do. Exactly. And and everything that we've done to create the ecosystem approach is to make it practical, to make it easy for everyday people, to make it so that you can use um, clearing in your everyday life. And again, the, the reason we're talking about essence is because when change happens, it reflects the, the problems that you have relative to the connection to your essence. Exactly. And that's what's so, so critical. You know, um, um, People struggle with change, and we see it as a result of the programming that has disconnected people from essence more and more and more every day. Well, I want to give you an example. It's a movie example, but there's a, there's the movie, and um, the guy who's suave and debonair and all those things. You know, he's the boss, and you know, and um, uh, some sort of drama trauma happens, and the boss goes to pieces. Well. That's really a really good demonstration of how the boss, and I'm not talking about your boss, but I'm saying how the boss, the character of the boss is disconnected from his essence. Yes. It's our, it's our, it's really a rock. If there's anything that was our rock, it's that because yes. that says, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm here. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what my role is and I'm doing it. And Today, we're not taught that at all. We're said we're taught to here's the standard that's outside of ourselves that we're supposed to adhere to. We're supposed to strive, uh, um, um, try and as our objectives go to these other standards that aren't created by us from our internal essence. They're created by other people. Correct. And I'm not trying to create a a, a group of strange people, but when you connect it to your essence. You work better in the world the way it is today, not worse. It's, yes. You're more connected to yourself, and therefore you're able to do what you need to do in the world to get what you want in a way that is stronger. People think, "Oh, I'm not gonna." That sounds too weird to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing the programming thing because that's what I'm used to. Well, it doesn't programming. More, the more programming you do on yourself, the harder it is to do programming on yourself. It's a, <laughs> sort of a, it's sort of a contradiction. But Truly. all this, again, relates back to change because change creates anxiety when this, the center part is not there. 
Mm, okay. So Jason, help me understand, help the audience understand that this connection to our essence is what we're looking for. But without it, without that connection, what do we do? You start um, using an energy practice that we're teaching you with the ecosystem approach by clearing negative energy. Mm -hmm. And as we clear negative energy, the more we'll see, the more perception we'll have, the more um, knowing that we'll have about who we are, where we're going. And it doesn't matter what the topic is. That's why, we, you know, we've been doing this radio show. We've got almost 30 um, shows under our belt. It doesn't matter what topic we start with. It, we, if you start with any of those topics. Just and do, somewhere. And then do the clearings. Yes. And oh, by the way, we have the newsletter that has clearings in it every single week. And if you do these clearings every single week, the newsletter's free, um, you'll start to uncover your essence more and more. You don't have to have a, a grand plan. You don't have to do anything more sophisticated. You just have to pull it up on your iPhone or your um, Android and um, do the clearings to yourself while you're on the bus, um, when you're doing something that you can't do anything else. It's perfect. Right. And, oh, by the way, if you go to our website, www.livinglighter.org, and go to the newsletter tab. We just ask for your name and email address. So, okay. ready for the key points? Okay, Jason. Hey, Jason, what are the key points in this segment? Change creates anxiety because of a lack of connection to essence. Okay. This lack of connection affects everyone, and the ecosystem approach is the answer. Yay! The ecosystem approach is about changing energy as opposed to actions and techniques. Okay. And the best way to deal with change is to clear the anxiety and frustration when it happens. Okay. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about day-to-day -day irritations that come from change. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Introducing New Soul Science, an introductory course with Ruby Betty. Offering profound wisdom alongside radically simple concepts and techniques that collapse time, allowing instantaneous personal transformation. The foundational techniques of this introductory course reveal the profound inner ability each human has to access and fulfill their individual soul script or soul promise. Awakening this ability leads to the mastery of one's destiny. The concepts are totally original, immensely powerful, and completely revolutionary. They ignite an infinite fire within each listener, fueling one's ability to live out their unique soul promise. Are you ready to become more aware and access amazing personal transformation? This course is available now at rubybetty.co. Dream on, fly high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, fly high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, visit flyhighliving.com. Defining success and putting minds to work. With the Higher Learners Career and Leadership Series, Rudy Racine will help you craft your personal definition of success, offering support and guidance as you move forward towards your goals. Take the leap. With the right mix of focus and motivation, anything can be achieved. Tune in every first and third Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 Eastern. And for more information on Rudy Racine and Higher Learners, visit Rudy's site at higherlearners.com. That's H-I-R-E learners.com. 
Are you ready to embrace your essence and the magic of who you are? Let me, Emily Perkins, hold your hand and walk with you as we go treasure hunting for the gold that lies within you. Tune in to Love Living Radio every second and fourth Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information, visit LovelivingHolistics.com. Conscious Confidence Radio, a timeless wisdom with Sarah Main. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio and join Sarah on an adventurous journey to the deeper level of meaning to move beyond today's world of constant change, confusion, and uncertainty beyond the shadow of fear. This hit show explores key concepts such as confidence, values, and attitude in a dynamic way. To learn more about Sarah and her work, visit sarahmain.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. Today, right now, we're talking about day-to-day irritations that come from change. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason. You know, I'm a pretty flexible person about things. Well, except when I'm not. So, um, Jason, is there any hope for me? Yeah, care for the labels. You know, I'm flexible except when I'm not. That's, you know, that's the truth about all sorts of things. But here's, here's the truth of it. If you start living your life looking at the energy of a situation rather than trying to gain life or use strategies and techniques to help yourself, you're going to be better off, um, and especially around things that change in your life. So if something changes, it, it creates anxiety, frustration, and it makes you mad. Um, the best thing you can do is clear those feelings as opposed to try and figure out how to get around that feeling or um, suppress it or forget about it or push it aside and act like it doesn't exist. That's the gaming part. That's the gaming part. All right. You know, strategies, techniques, trying to do it one way or the other, um, ignoring it, uh, seducing it, um, coming up with some sort of um, um, razzle-dazzle way to get yourself um, out of a situation. The best thing you can do is clear the energy of it. You know, everyone is a little um, OCD and we all have compulsions. And those are the things that keep us from dealing well with change. Oh, well, wait a minute. Can you explain what OCD and compulsions? Can you explain that? OCD stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. And frankly, I don't pretend to be um, trained in the the precise definitions of those characteristics. But OCD basically is when you have to do certain things like lock the door three times, um, 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 don't step on the cracks, you know. In a sidewalk. On a sidewalk. um, Um, have to have, have to be in a certain place in a restaurant, um, having to have your server in a certain way, you know, having to have certain things line up. Um, I remember when I was in college, we had these, um, these um, glass doors to cabinets. And I used to have all my soup cans lined up so you could see the label of what the soup cans were. <laughs> And I had this girlfriend who used to love to come in there and turn them all around. <laughs> that was my OCD. And that was that was her uh, solution. <laughs> I, I guarantee you, he doesn't have the same OCDs these days. <laughs> but you know, um, compulsions are are behaviors that you have to do because of without choice. You have to do them. Okay, and you don't know why you have to do them, but you just have to do them. But the truth is, they are about energy yes and if you understand that ocd any of the any of the alphabet conditions add adhd they're all energies Mm -hmm. so even though i don't have a precise definition i know that there's an energy and i can clear those energies that are connected to your essence and and ironically this you can the same thing you do for everything else that we talk about if you clear those things and, and get closer to your essence 
you're going to, um, some of these things are going to start to resolve themselves. You know, um, I'm going to jump in and say, you know, a lot of people ask us, well, you know, how do you know about the energies? And um, the truth is I can see and feel the energies. And we I'm, perceive them. We perceive them. Yes. And, and uh, the energies of um, OCD and, and ADHD and um, those, those types of things, they, if I was to, claim a sound to them, it, the sound would be, eh, but it's continuous. It's, it's like a, it's like white noise. It or, is like, but that, it's, that you can really hear Really obnoxious. It. Yes. 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 And, and um, um, the reason that I'm saying this is, is that these energies are in a form of a different caliber than other energies, but they're so subtle. People do not think that, frenzy, anxiety, um, um, ADHD, that they would be energies. But the truth is, they are. And the good news about all that is that what we're teaching you how to do with the ecosystem approach is how to remove those negative energies. Right. Um, you know, obsessions and compulsions are behaviors that you do without choice. Right. And, um, um, you know, there's... Um, um, these, these behaviors that you do without choice um, really can screw up your life. You know, alcoholics, um, wow. gamblers anonymous, um, people that speed, people, you know, um, those are typical compulsions that can be really dangerous. Yes. There's a lot of um, um, ones that aren't so dangerous, like lining up your soup cans in your... In your in <laughs> oh, your of cupboard. course, he chooses the non-dangerous <laughs> ones. Yeah. But, but the... But the truth is that they're all there. And um, um, what we want to do is you become more connected to your essence. You become more intentional about what you do and what you don't do. Mm. And remember, compulsion um, is, the, is the behavior that makes change really difficult. Well, you know what? This whole thing brings up the, the subject or the, it brings to mind for me. You know, I see a lot of people, including myself, by the way, that I do things because I fear being out of control or not being able to control a situation or a feeling. And I would say that that is, um, we see controlling behaviors all the time and they cause havoc in people's lives with relationships, close relationships, right. you know, at right. work. Right. And, um, um they're an energy but and they can be, they can be changed. I was going to say, but connect that to change, Jason. Because when you have those need to control, right. you struggle to, to change. You, oh, and, and, and by the way, um, today we're going to clear some things that keep us stuck in resistance about change. So, um, you know, Jason, the, the, Bad behaviors, or wait a minute, I shouldn't say it that way. The um, changes that we struggle with, like at work and our social life and, you know, those- Traffic, things. weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Un Unexpected expenses. Exactly. Yes. Those things, for instance, you're in the car, it starts raining, and there's an accident ahead of you. I mean, the first thing that happens to most people that I know, there's a form of anxiety that happens. I'm supposed to be home. I'm supposed to pick up the kids. I have to go shopping. I mean, there's all of these things. If you clear the anxiety, believe it or not, the anxiety will get in your way more than the accident will. And, the, you know, the truth is, if you've ever tried this, it's not necessarily a quick fix. Some anxieties, yes. um, um, negative energies are really deep-seated. Right. And it's not going to, it's not like taking a pill and you get rid of it. Although, the truth is taking a pill really doesn't get rid of what you're trying to get rid of. It just, it just covers it up, covers it up for a few minutes and then you, you're back. At exactly. It. So, you know, one of the things that, you know, I want to tell everybody about is our newsletter. And I'm really talking about this a lot because it's so, we've made it so easy for people just to start doing the ecosystem approach. I, I have an idea. How about those of you who have not signed up for a newsletter, Make a choice to change right now. <laughs> Go to our website at www.livinglighter.org and uh, go to the radio tab and sign up. We only ask for your name. It's a newsletter tab. But yeah. A newsletter tab. Yeah. Excuse me. I said radio. Well, do that if, too. If you scroll down, it's, it's at the bottom. <laughs> Thank and you. All we ask for is your name and email address and 
every week we send you information about the topic of the day, like in this time, in this case, it would be change. Right. But we also give you clearing statements that you can use. Mm-hmm. Um, you can put them on your um, your smartphone and then take them with you and then do them, you know, at different times of the day. Do them as much as you can. They as won't hurt you. As much as you want, yes. Yep, exactly. they won't hurt you. Um, it's non-fattening. And you start to see things that you wouldn't see before. You start to perceive things. And some of these obsessions don't become such a big deal um, like they were. Okay. You know, um, when... If you have something horrific, like, you know, uh, there's so many natural disasters, but I can't imagine being flooded out of your home. One day you're in your home and the next day you have no place to live. That that change is awful. You know, here in California, people have been literally burned out of their homes yes. and had to run for their lives because it was ha- the, the fire was moving so quickly. Right. I can't imagine that. But, you know, that kind of difficulty is an energy and it doesn't make it any um, worse or better. But if you understand that it's an energy, then you can clear so you can become more functional to take care of what you need to take care of. During a disaster or in and in everyday life. But the small changes, mm-hmm. you know, I've seen more people um, a big uh, one's lose coming up. it yes. over, over the small changes, like work schedule changes. You know, all of a sudden you have to work late today and you didn't, didn't expect it or weather changes that affect your plans, unexpected expenses. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Here's one of the biggest ones that happens twice a year. How about daylight savings time? It, we know that it affects us. It frustrates us. Right. You know, when you fall back, it's nice to get the extra sleep. But when you're springing forward, you're saying, oh, my gosh, I want that extra, I want that, I want but, that extra hour. But I love the, the light, you know, uh, in the evening. You know, it, 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 in all honesty, it takes me a week to um, recover from both sides of that change. Here's here's one of the big things that people get caught in is knowing the difference. People say, well, I know, you know, um, all of a sudden I'm in traffic. I didn't expect it. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. What am I going to do? I hear that all the time. You know, what am I going to do? So that happened. What am I going to do? Well, that's what you think. It's not how you're feeling. If you could perceive how you're feeling, you might be saying, Oh my, you know, OMG, what, you know, I, I, you know, the anxiety, the, the strength, you know, all of all the things that are happening, knowing the difference between thinking and feeling is a big deal. And you get that by clearing. All right, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? The best thing you can do in life is change the energy versus gaming your life. Okay. Change is inevitable, but you can make yourself more secure on the inside. Mm. Clear your reaction to things that change so you can feel better. Okay. And you don't have to be a victim to your response to change. Clearing is the answer. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about how changes to your personal rules can really affect you. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Steve Kramer of Spirit Fire Radio, and I believe that meditation changes everything. It leads us in the direction of greater well-being, and that's a fact. I struggled with meditation for years. I understood the principles, but I found it hard to incorporate them into my everyday life. Spirit Fire's meditation practice changed that. It's called the Practice of Living Awareness, and it's taught in 14 steps. These are 14 tools that I can use in any moment on and off the cushion. Steps like smile, flow, and ground of being support my clarity of mind while I'm navigating the ups and downs of modern life. That's why it's called the practice of living awareness. If you'd like to add meditation to your daily experience, the practice of living awareness is free, online, and it's suited for any level of practitioner. Visit spiritfire.com for more information. And be sure to check out Spirit Fire's meditation retreats in Western Massachusetts. It's all there at spiritfire.com. Ignite your inner magic on Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Jane Matanga explores how to overcome your fears to help you gain the inspiration you need to awaken your path to joy. Learn the way to life mastery and the enlightened path with Grow Your Soul Radio. For more information on Jane Matanga and her work, 
Visit enlightened-path.com. Are you tired of being tired? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know the adrenal glands, the workhorse of the body? They are the means by which you position yourself in life for whatever comes your way. Tiny but mighty, producing hormones the body uses to promote energy and vitality. These adrenals determine how you respond to stress and when depleted, the body loses its ability to function powerfully when we need it most. The much needed adrenaline or epinephrine is not available for emergency situations. Cortisone and cortisol, the longer acting anti-stress adrenal hormones, can also become depleted due to the pace of our everyday lives. We overwork and undernutrition our most powerful ally that helps us to live the lives we desire. We are able to determine the optimum function of the adrenals and put your system back in balance. Contact us today to feel powerfully energized at 888-777-4232 or visit us at maryjanemack.com. Have you ever wondered if there's a way to heal the deep, hidden inner issues, wounds, beliefs, and traumas? The journey into spiritual healing engages people in all areas of their lives to heal themselves and others. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Dr. Jaffe brings conversations of healing of body, mind, and spirit as he merges the excellence of traditional medicine with the beauty of spiritual healing. For more information about Dr. Jaffe, this show, and his work, visit drjaffemd.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And today we're talking about how our personal rules and habits get changed by other people and situations. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Jason, what do you mean other people's personal rules and habits? Uh, you know, ours get changed by... Anyway, explain, Jason. What are you talking about? I used to say that people come from different supposed to schools. Mm-hmm. We all have these beliefs and habits connected to the way we're raised or what we're supposed to do. Uh, when someone or a situation changes your supposed to training, then it always creates drama, anxiety, and stress. Or pure laughter, one yes. of the two. One of, all of those, yes. Okay, so um, can you give us some examples, Jason? Here's the big one. This is probably in in the top of most people's um, life, but it's toilet seat wars. <laughs> I've met people who believe that putting the toilet seat down is in the Constitution, you know, um, that that a man should put the toilet seat down after, you know, he's he uses the bathroom and not leave the toilet seat up. You know, and I think um, there's when it comes to supposed to training, they're, it, they're very subjective. There's no right or wrong. But oh my gosh, um, when when your rules that in terms of what's supposed to happen is changed, then there's all sorts of anxiety and um, um, frustration, anger, resentment that that is created. Well, okay, so. <laughs> Um, uh, unfortunately, fortunately, we don't have that problem. You know what? We've never had that problem in case you were wondering. Anybody who was out there wondering, we've never had that problem. Although we talked about it. We did. Yeah, we did. We, we we did. we've talked about it. Yeah. And, you know. We're um, talking about the toilet seat wars, yes. everybody. In our house, the, the, uh, the supposed to rule is um, last person leaves it the way they did. Yes. And, and, and that's the just person the way that comes is. in deals yeah. with it, you know, whatever. Yeah, accordingly. Whatever. Yes. Okay, so you know that now that now that everyone knows that part about us, um, so um, you know obsessiveness, Jason, you and I know is the enemy of change. Yes. Explain. I mean that's that is so huge. You know, here we're having a show about change, but really, it's I thought it was about toilet seats. <laughs> <laughs> All of our obsessive obsessiveness and supposed to rules is really what interferes with change. You know, we have to do it one way or another, and we argue about it, we get mad about it, we, we get resentful about it, um, and, you know, they're roughly analogous to, you know, putting the cap on the toothpaste and, and all the rules around that. You know, how should the toilet paper roll be 
you know, rolls oh, on, from the top on, or yes. from the bottom, you know, there's, <laughs> yeah, I know, haven't thought of that one. Sure. You know, when it's, can, or whether it's cans in a, in a cupboard, yes, you know, yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, when, when we do new things in our lives, oh, I don't know, like a, a, a job, um, then we immediately are taken out of our quote comfort zone. And there's and, new supposed to rules. And there's new supposed to rules. Uh, exactly. You know, um, for a lot of people, when they go, when they take on a new job, there's all these unspoken rules that that you learn or you don't, which is you know about speaking up, um, taking orders without question. Can you speak up and challenge the boss, or are you supposed to just do what he do what he or she she says? Mm. You know, how do you handle yourself? How do you behave in a meeting? You know, can you? Is it allowed to get angry um, publicly, or do you keep it to yourself? Right. You know, um, can you ask questions or? challenge what's um, being said or not. And, and, and by the way, the ecosystem approach can help you deal with all of those things because it's about changing the energy. And when you start changing the energy with you first, then life makes, it, life that happens, you know, that changes outside all the time, it's a whole lot easier to deal with. For example, if you're always asking questions or challenging someone when they give you um, a directive or an order or a request, you know, and it's not accepted, um, that need to, to ask the questions, you can clear. Yeah. You know, or you can, you can clear so you can get a, you can quit that job and get a better one. <laughs> or, you, or, or wait a minute, there's one, and there's one more, there's a few uh, alternatives here. But the other thing is, is collect uh, in your thoughts all of the questions and put them into one or two um, questions, and which is something you can do with clearing yes. and or um, have a have a heart to heart with your boss and clear any resistance mm-hmm. because I'm sure you're dealing with their supposed to rules too. Oh uh, yeah, oh I hadn't thought of that one. You sure. Know, the you know, the problem is is that when you there's a supposed to, and you're with someone else, whether it's at work, at home, um, with friends, you know things like anger, righteousness, blame, frustration are all energies that come up from the other person or from you that can be cleared. Like it makes it, it so much easier um, to deal with. Oh, mm-hmm. Those supposed to rules, you know, they're, they're such, um, they get so many people in so much trouble. And we, <laughs> we've had so many couples yes. come to us and complain about, you know, it's they come to us with the presumption that we can tell who's we, right. We can tell who's right, or we have some sort of magic formula to force the other person to do what the, that, the first person they're wants. supposed to rule. Right. Yes, right. you know, and it it doesn't work like that. You know, and we get a lot of um um ex, what's the word? Kind of a a look that's that says, oh my gosh, um um. I wanted a better answer than that. <laughs> well, not, not only that, not only that, but the the expectation that we're going to say to someone, uh, you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong, that isn't what the um, ecosystem approach is about. The ecosystem approach is removing the negative energy so you yourself can see and make decisions for yourself. Exactly. Here's, here's the bottom line. Okay. The reason we dealt with the toilet seat were... <laughs> from the very beginning because we just talked about it. We did. And that was because there was no supposed to energy. There was right. no um, obsession, any right. of that. Right. And, it, and it worked. Okay. So key points. Oh, wait a minute. Jason, what are the key points of this segment? <laughs> supposed to training is subjective and there's no right way. Yeah. Supposed to training is best worked out by clearing the negative energy. And, and by the way, clearing the negative energy between two people is amazing. Yes. And obsessiveness is the enemy of change, mm-hmm. but obsessiveness can be cleared. And the more flexible, um, you Let's become more that. flexible when rules, anxiety, obsessiveness is changed with clearing. I love it. All right. So, um, Jason, let's take a moment and talk about how to do the energy work. We're going to show you how to do clearing. We've been talking about it for the last three segments, so we're going to show you how to do it. Mm-hmm. Remember that you can't do it wrong. You can't hurt yourself doing this. If you don't think it applies to you, you can still clear it and it won't hurt you. And we always ask you to set your intention to help 
all the people that are clearing with you right now so that they can be helped too. So you, right. we do this as a group, even though we don't know who everybody else is. Okay. So what you do is you sit down, you, you can sit down, stand up, doesn't really matter, but you use your imagination. And when we take the stated emotion or situation um, by saying, and to eliminate, then we just gather up all that stuff and throw it into a trash can. Like, you know, you can, do, you can throw into an actual trash can. You can put a trash can in your imagination and, um, and then exhale mm -hmm. with a gentle breath. You know, it doesn't have to be a big, big breath, just a gentle one. And um, we take care of the trash can. It's in your imagination. We'll empty it. And then we go on to the next thing or emotion. Okay. So then we activate life force. And, um, you know, this is, this is really amazing because, first off, it's the most powerful energy that we have access to. And so many of us don't use it or um, think we're using it, but we're not. And what you're going to do is you're going to activate life force, basically the same way that... Uh, uh, we remove negative energy, and then you're going to activate life force, and you're going to pull it in right through the top of your head. Let it go down your arms and your torso and go all the way to your toes. And then when you get a little bit better at it, turn it around and have it push negative energy out when you exhale your breath. So You could also draw it into your heart. You can. That's, that's true. You know, either one, and a lot of people like it going or through both. their heart. Yes, or both. Yes. Okay. It, it's not only limited by your imagination. All right. So stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to help you deal with change in your life in a better way. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Would you like your next chapter to be free from fear and angst? Tune in to Your Next Chapter Radio, navigating through life's transitions with Shelly Ryan the fourth Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Shelly's contagious enthusiasm guides you through life's transitions deliberately, mindfully, and funnily. For Your Next Chapter Coaching or to listen, visit YourNextChapterCoaching.com or call 602-617-8351. Next! Our angels and animals are always working for and around us. Darcy Pariso knew from an early age she felt this incredible presence that was confirmed for her in a Reiki Level 1 course. From then on, she has honed her skills and dedicated her talents to providing answers, inspiration, and tools for people to move past limiting blocks and past traumas to truly live a life of happiness. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Are you ready to attract abundance, release stress, look and feel younger, all from your smartphone? Get Pure Light, a free mobile app with audios that transmit powerful frequencies to shift anything in your life. Created by some of the world's top energy healers, these audios have created miracles, often quickly. Enjoy the latest in conscious technology, 
and download Pure Light today. To find out more, visit purelightaudio.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And right now, we're going to help you with um, changing the energy in your life uh, regarding changes for big and small changes. Jason, let's get started. Okay. So, like she said, it doesn't matter whether these changes are big, like, you know, um, something catastrophic or small, or just an irritating thing that bugs you but it'll work for all of it. So here we go. Here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate all the anxiety, stress, and fear I have around any type of change. Mm, Take a breath. breath. And to eliminate my frustration and anger and overwhelm I have when things change. Take a breath. And to eliminate the false belief that when things change, it's not my problem, it's the it's the other person's problem. Take a breath. Here's one that's really important, and especially to many of my clients out there. And to eliminate the false belief that says when change happens in my life, I'm the one who will always pay the price. I release and let go that false belief right now. Take a breath. And along with that, and to eliminate the false belief that um, when someone changes something on me, they're doing it to me, Mm -hmm. that it's it's, um, by taking that change personally when it's not necessarily the case at all. Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so that I can see that my essence connects me to my personal foundation. Take a breath. Here's a big one. We all do this. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see clearing is the way to live as opposed to gaming my life. Take a breath, everyone. And I recommend, take a look around your life today, uh, this week, this next week. See how many ways you game your life. Using strategies and techniques as opposed to just changing the energy of the situation. And to eliminate the barrier so I can... um, Use, my, use clearing as my go-to as opposed to gaming or strategies and techniques, oh, workarounds, um, um, seductions, mm-hmm. tricks for yeah. me. Take a breath. Um, I have to say this. You know, one of the biggest gaming things I see people do is they'll set their clock ahead five minutes. And believe it or not, if you just clear the resistance to getting out the door on time, or getting up on time, you wouldn't need to set your clock five minutes ahead. Take a breath, everybody. And to eliminate the barrier so I can clear my supposed to rules and act from choice and essence. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barriers to my flexibility by clearing obsessions, rules, and anxiety around um, those things. Take a breath. Can we activate life force? Okay, I can do that. Go with me, everyone. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force so I can have more flexibility in my life by connecting with what? My essence. Take a breath. Pull that right in through the top of your head, into your heart, all the way down to your toes. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can... Love myself enough to set my intention to uncover and restore my essence. Take Take a breath. breath. And to activate 
um, life force so I can love myself and act with intention and consciousness as, a, as opposed to obsession. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can relax and be more accepting of other people's rules and obsessiveness and know what to clear for myself in the moment. Take a breath. And I have one last one, if that's okay. I do, oh, no, no. And to <laughs> activate life force energy so I can love myself, be happy with myself, have peace and harmony, and understand that within myself now and in the future. Activate life force, pull in that life force energy right now. Take a breath. And blow out any negative energy that is still there. Blow it out. Good. Okay, Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? This is really timely. We're going to talk about holiday weight gain. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody, break out your fat pants. That's the thing to do, right? Well, most people said, okay, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just, it's inevitable. I'm just going to gain weight. Um, some people get crazy and say, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to not gain weight. You know, um, it's, most people think about it in terms of what you eat, in terms of the sweets. And I, I realize that those are a part of it. But we have a much different perspective. We're going to deal with the energy Mm -hmm. of holiday weight gain. And there's so much more there to deal with. And it's so much more effective than trying to um, limit yourself, use self-discipline around the holidays. So we're going to give you some really practical tips and and some clearings that that are going to help you. So be sure and tune in. You know what, Jason, I'd really like to, um, uh, in that, I'd like to request that we clear the, the, the rules that say, um, that seven pounds uh, weight gain during the holidays is inevitable. Just think about it. If we clear the energy of that rule, what yeah. what could the possibilities be? Wow. You know, um, and even uh, uh, clear any um, obstructions that are keeping us from changing our perspective on how we see so many things, food and and um, celebrations and, you know, family stuff. It's It's pretty... It can be pretty overwhelming. That is for sure. Yes. Um, and by the way, I'd like everyone who's listening to know, you are not alone in this one. Um, there are so many things that go on and there's these underlying subtleties about why we gain weight when we connect with the holidays. You know, we'll give you a big hint. Um, a lot of the problems with weight gain in the holidays is family issues, and we have solutions for that. So We do. So we do. Be, be sure and tune in. Okay. All right. So um, if you liked your experience with us today, mark your calendar. Living Lighter Radio is every week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can't listen at that time, our show is recorded, and you can go to our website, www.livinglighter.org, and look for the radio tab. If you really want to feel better, make clearing constantly, consistently, and specifically, um, you have to sign up for our newsletter. Right. That's our tool to give you that's, that's free so that you can um, do clearings on a regular basis. Um, um, when, you're, when you're doing something that you can't do anything else with, this is a great thing to do. So go to our website, www.livinglighter, and go to the uh, newsletter tab. And all we ask for is your name and email address. It's free and um, um, you'll love it. Well, wait a minute. Let's let's do the whole email address, um, Jason, www.livinglighter.org and go ahead and sign up for that newsletter. Yes. It's, it's, it's um, you know, everyone, if you want to do something really good for yourself today, start right now. Make that change. And if you have, you know, um, today's program, today's topic was one of our li- listener requests. Yes. So we love to have listener requests. We mm-hmm. love to have, you know, comments. Um, please feel free to write us at Jason and Patricia. That's all one word, Jason and Patricia at livinglighter.org. And uh, just send us a note. We'd be happy to, um, to hear your comments. Okay. 
if you got a benefit today or had some fun, go like us on Facebook. Jason really likes those. He goes, oh, look. <laughs> um, yeah. um, we're at livinglighter.org. I've been because- clearing my insecurities around being liked or not liked on Facebook. <laughs> but until I, I make more progress to that, you know, be nice to me and just um, go to <laughs> livinglighter.org. There's no neediness <laughs> there, is there, in everyone? Okay. And, and like us, um, and we really appreciate that. And so. not to mention, we also give you a preview on Facebook of what our show is going to be like um, um, for, the next for, day, for, next, yes. for next week. Um, we'll connect next, next week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. You're listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. Wishing you a lifetime of living lighter. Thank you for listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly as we discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information, visit our website at www.livinglighter.org.